Welcome to a demo on analyzing customer sentiments using large language model. The best way to understand your customers is to understand their emotion and their sentiments. So in this demo, I'll be using large language models which are available on huggingface.com. And the demo which I'll be showing you is available on my platform experiencedatascience.com and you can also try it out with your own data. So my friends, let us now jump in. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video as well as make some comments. I'll be taking data which is related to Amazon customer reviews. The data has got the product ID. It has got the rating which has been given by the user as well as it has got the review text. So we'll be taking the review text and converting it into sentiment using large language models which are available on Hugging Face. The large language model measures the sentiment in various ways such as negative, positive or neutral sentiment or it measures the sentiment as rating between one and five or it measures the sentiment as emotions. Now here is the analysis using the hugging face model which measures the sentiment as negative, neutral or positive. Now most of the reviews has got a positive sentiment but there are few reviews which has got negative or neutral sentiments. Now let us use a scatter plot to analyze some of these reviews. Now the color of the dots here corresponds to uh, the sentiment negative, positive or neutral. And on the X axis, you have the actual rating which is given by the user, but I have randomized it so that you can visually see each dot separately. And on the Y axis, you have the probability of sentiment prediction. Now let us select a few reviews which have been classified as positive sentiments. And here you'll observe that most of the reviews are classified as positive sentiments also has got a high user rating. Now let us see what these reviews are and let me hover over this and I see very pleased good size for my Papio and Pomeranian mix and these are dense, not so airy and they last long, longer. So definitely a review which has got a lot of positive sentiments. Now let us look at this one and this one it says uh, love this gluten free healthy bar save lot of dollars on Amazon. So once again lot of positive sentiments in this review. Now let me go ahead and select reviews which have been predicted as negative sentiments. And let me hover over a few of them. And this one it says uh, arrived in PC is not pleased at all, disappointed. So definitely there's a lot of negative sentiments in this particular review and our large language model is doing an awesome job in predicting the sentiments correctly. Now let us look at another interesting way to measure sentiment. Uh, in this case, uh, we'll be using the large language model to measure sentiment as ratings between one to five. So here is the sentiment analysis, which is predicted as rating. And you can observe that most of the ratings uh, are predicted as five star, but then you also have ratings which are predicted as one star, two star, three star, or four star. Now let us use also a scatter plot to analyze some of the reviews. The color of the dot here corresponds to the sentiment, uh, one star to five star. Uh, on the x-axis, you have the actual rating which is given by the user, uh, but I have randomized it so that we can visually see each dot separately. And on the y-axis, you have the probability of sentiment prediction. Now, let me go ahead and select reviews which have been predicted as five-star ratings. And let us hover for a few of them. Uh, so this one, it says, uh, great coffee, love all the Green Mountain coffee and all under wonderful flavors uh, and would definitely recommend this coffee to all my friends. So once again, it definitely a five star review. Now, let me go ahead and select reviews which have been predicted as one star. Uh, so this one, it says, uh, arrived in pieces, not pleased at all. When I opened the box, most of the rings were broken in pieces, a total waste of money. So definitely a one star review. 
So once again, the large language model is doing a fantastic job in predicting the sentiment as ratings. Now let us go to the third type of sentiment, which is based on emotions. And here the predicted values are anger, fear, joy, and sadness. And let us analyze few reviews using a scatter plot. And let me first select the reviews which have been predicted as love and joy. Now let me go ahead and hover over a few of them. So once again, we find this review which we saw earlier. It says, great coffee, will recommend to all my friends. So once again, lot of joy involved in this particular review. Now let me go ahead and select the reviews which have been classified as emotionally sad uh, or with fear and anger. And let us see this particular review, which looks very interesting. It has got a five star by the user, but it has been classified as fear. Uh, so this review, it says that happy with the product. Uh, my dog was suffering uh, from itchy skin, uh, was eating some cheap food and the customer was nervous, but the vet suggested to change the food and the skin issue got cleared up and the wellness brand did the job. Let us hover over a few more. And here it says a uh, deceptive description. Uh, so once again, lot of anger, which is involved in this particular review. So analyzing sentiment as emotions looks very cutting edge. And I really like this analysis as it gives information on the actual customer ratings, as well as the emotions which are captured in the review. And we can find some very interesting things, such as the rating is high, but the emotion which is captured in the sentiment is that of fear. And this goes to show that uh, sometimes people buy a product because of some fear, but if the product works out, then they give a five star rating. Very interesting. And once again, this large language model is really cutting edge as it classifies the emotions which are hidden in the customer reviews very correctly. So my friends, if you are enjoying the video till now, please hit the subscribe button, like as well as make some comments on the video. And now let me jump on to the demo where I'll show you on how to do all this analysis and you can also do it with your own data. So on my demo platform, experiencedatascience.com, let me first start by going to the experience sentiment analysis with large language models. Now I've already set up the Amazon review data set, but if you want, you can also add your own data by selecting the add button. But for the moment, I will go ahead and select the Amazon review data set, copy it and make it ready to use. All right, so the data set is now set up and I can go ahead and select it. And here you see multiple tabs and let us first start with the data display tab. And you can select a few records to display. And let me go ahead and also select all the columns and then execute this analytics. All right, so in a while you'll see the results are out and you will see that the data has scored the product ID, the score, as well as the review. Now let me go ahead and do the sentiment analysis using the hugging face large language models. And I will select the review as the text column for sentiment analysis. And let me also select other columns which I will need it in my final output. Now here I can choose different large language models for sentiment. So for example, I can choose the model for the negative, neutral and positive, or I can select the model for rating, or I can choose the model for predicting emotions. Now let me go ahead and select the model for predicting emotions, which is my favorite model. And I can make some other settings also and let me also save the data set because I'm going to use the output for further analysis, such as the scatter plot analysis. And let me now execute this. 
All right, so in a while, I obtained the analysis where all the reviews have been classified as different emotions. And I can also download the data. And when you open the file, you will see all the data fields. And you will see also in addition to all different fields, you will also see the predicted sentiment as well as you will see the sentiment score, which is between 0 and 1. And higher the value, and if it means close to one, it means that the model is more confident about the prediction. Now, if you want, you can also take the column score. Column score is basically one, two, three, four, five, but then you can randomize it. It means you can add a formula such as B2 plus rand using Excel. So now the score values vary slightly. And this will help you get a scatter plot where you can see all the dots separately. Now, if you want, you can load this data in the platform and make the scatter plot using the scatter plot visual tab. But I leave this as an exercise for you to do. So, my friends, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe to the channel, like and comment, and see you soon in another exciting demo video.